All right, nice and quick. That was a quickie. That was a quick fire. What do you got here? Anything? Oh, I like this one. I'm taking Tomb because I'm a savage. These are both very good. Um, I'm pretty sure Banditron is better than a Tomb. It is, but I always want to play. This is good when you're playing blue. This is good very, very specific situations. I think it's Mandarin. And Leovold. Leovold himself said, I think it's it's a Mandarin draft. So how do you even... You can't. You just got to take it. Not the, not the ancestral we're looking for, but still a good one. It's not bad. It's, a, it's not bad. What voice is that? Is that just the items? Maybe Mario. I don't. Eh, yeah, I think it is. I think it's. His, I think it's his Luigi voice. I think it's ancestral here, right? Um. Is he taking metal worker this early? You want to take all these build arounds, and I just want to take the good cards. It's fine. You, you can take the good cards. But the thing is, like, the cards I take are going to be more fair because they're not build arounds. Your cards are unfair because they require other cards to make them really, really broken. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So, is she taking a mom here? So if we take Ancestral Sower, then people are going to be like, oh, cool, fair cards. Or not not Sower, Ancestral Mandarin. But if we take into... I wouldn't call Mandarin a fair card. Uh, I want to take the Metal Worker because I like you. Oh, I, oh, okay. You didn't like that? No, I, I wouldn't think you were going to listen to me, though. Well, I guess we're in this pile now. <laughs> 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 I only well, started thinking you weren't gonna listen. There is a metamorph, which is pretty good. Yeah, that's a good. That's a metal worker guy. Those are just good. Wow, that's hilarious. You're like, oh, I seems I made a mistake. <laughs> oh, this is awkward. <laughs> I wasn't prepared for this. <laughs> oh, Sphinx of Steel one is also an artifact. Yes, yes, it is. Oh, that's a strong grape flavor. I kind of just like Sphinx of Steel one. What if the Entomb comes back? And then we can be uh, Artifact artifact Reanimator. I don't know if that's a thing you can do. It's, it's not. I just made that up. Yeah, I mean, there's nothing great in this pack, so... I like the potential this has. Plus, we're not uh, committed to any particular uh, color combinations as a bit. Maybe the Shambling Man comes back? I'm going to take the Sphinx of the Steel one. I think it's a very strong card. Oh, I do like a Christmas draft red-green only, but it might be a little too late for that considering we have four picks now. We can do it next time. Yeah, next next draft we'll do a red green only draft. Watch, nothing's gonna come. There's not gonna be any red or green. There was plenty of red. There were plenty of green too, because that's how these drop these how, that's how these uh uh drafts go. Oh Christmas tree, oh Christmas tree, oh, oh, oh Christmas tree. Oh. Also, happy holidays to anybody who's watching, whether it's on YouTube or right now on the stream. Tropical Island. God, no one likes green blue. Gaia's Cradle. It's a really late cradle. Also, there's some fireworks going on outside because apparently Christmas is now is now a firework holiday. I didn't know that. I don't see any artifacts in this in this pack. Angel of Invention, maybe? Meh. Yeah, it's totally meh. It's just... I should take Trop Island. Uh, it's pronounced Big Trops. Or Fatal Push? Eh. Not good. It's almost worth taking the Cradle. It's so late. I agree. This is a late Cradle. Sphinx has prediction from Christmas. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I love it. I'm going to take the Trop. Whatever. I don't care. We're going to be Green Blue Reanimator. Artifacts. Mm -hmm. that's, an, that's an archetype, right? Green, blue, reanimator stacks. Well, they're definitely pushing us into the blue, green archetype, whatever that may be. Could just take a gush. Ugh. You don't like gush? I don't think I do. This is all two cards on it. What and it's pronounced play? goosh. I don't know why you're. Oh, sorry, goosh. Yeah, there's an accent over the U. I think we just take this, and then we just try to be whatever good green cards come by. I haven't seen many good green cards. Though. Or we can take this and hope the Windswept Heat slash Polluted Delta comes back. Not Polluted Delta, uh, Flooded Strand. 
Yeah. No, I think that's that. great. I mean, we probably are playing white, so it's not the worst We're idea. Pro- I don't know if we are. We got Saints. I don't know if I'm. I'm just a good Lord. I don't know if I'm all about hard casting that guy though. Awakening zone. So slow. There's like we've seen no artifacts and no. I don't think we've seen anything in this draft. This is a weird. This has been a weird draft so far. I mean, it's just ultimate price. Just take the strongest card in the pack. I was thinking, wait, you didn't say you didn't even like awakening zone. It's so slow. That's what they say about you though. Yeah, but I'm not a draft. So. What up, Sarah? Wait, but what? But I'm not a draft, so it's fine. You don't know that. Also, I think in this cube reclamation stage, it might be stronger. Okay. Keep that guy. Then. Plus, we got easy ways to cast it, so whatever. Blue has been cut hard. I think all the colors have been cut hard. I, I don't think we've seen many. Uh... I think these are just terrible packs. Yeah, these haven't been great packs. Watch, we're gonna watch the uh, the replay, and it's gonna be like, wow, there was a bunch of cards in these packs. How did we not take those? Maybe we just take Godless Shrine and just start taking all of the. Uh... Just take all the land. Yeah, just we'll just do stuff. the yeah we'll just do the land good stuff draft. I like that. All right. That style. I feel like that's. I mean, we have like a bunch of good stuff right now. Some metal lookers. All right. A little awkward. But... Well, I'm pretty sure the first pack it, we're gonna have the entomb. No one ever takes entomb, right? Random shadows are actually gas. I agree with you. I was a metal love man once. They used to call me the metal love man. Huh. Never again. I'm just a love machine. Uh -huh. Not up to January 5th, 19 dickety 2. What? That's what it all went bad. That's... That's when the whole thing turned around on me. All right, pack one again. Let's see. Any day now. T -t -t Today, Junior. Are you yawning already? This we're not even in, we're not even on the eighth pick yet. I don't matter. You don't matter. But that don't matter. Did you guys hear that don't matter or I don't matter? Let me know. In the, let me know in the comments below. Oh, shardless agent. Balance tabled? Interesting. It's a dark confidant. Oh, Bobby. Dark confidant hits Sphinx. It's a little oh. Sheldock Isle. Oh, I think it actually is Sheldock Isle. That seems great. I don't like shardless agent because the one thing we can hit so far is a mana drain. I think it's Sheldock Isle. That seems great. Shardless agent's kind of mad anyway. I know. I just, I think it's, I think it's just a pick card of mine that I really like. It says Cascade. Oh, what if we took the Ancestral Vision then we would have had the, uh, we could have, we could have, sh yeah, we could have shardless ten card never tabled us. What if we take this Mother and then we Runes? only have artifacts? Yeah, that's pretty good. I don't think it's Mother Runes. We're not a Mother Runes deck. Mother Runes table. It's so weird. Temple Garden could also be good because it's definitely color, but I think the Abyss, yeah, Abyss is just is pretty strong. I agree, especially if we can build around it here. Oh, Forge Master. That's okay. I'm glad we were both looking at that. It's a good one. It'll open a tinker and an inkwell. Or a Black Lotus, or a Mox, or a Time Walk, or Ancestral Recall. Oh my god, the Shambling Vent did come back! Alright. Gas. So we're just four color non-red, right? Oh, Fatal Bush? Alright. Sure. Uh, we're not double red, and we're not going to take Gorge. Yeah, I guess we don't really need Gorge. We have no red cards currently. Savannah? Alright. Sure. Ooh. It's even playable. This has been definitely been a weird... These have definitely been weird packs. I feel like there was an abundance of lands in those packs. So I think we deserve an Ancestral Recall followed by a Mox, but, you know, I don't want to be greedy. In that order. Correct. I will accept the Sol Ring, or Jason the Mind Sculptor as well. What's the nickname for Shambling Man? I don't know, Old Shamblerino? Old Shanty? I don't like that. <laughs> Where did the N and the T come from? I don't know, I was just reading off the chat. Did someone... Oh, okay, okay. Old Urza training camp, I got you. I mean, you called sand sandwiches sandies. Yeah, because that's what they are. Yeah, delicious you have a, sandies. I'm gonna go get a delicious chicken sandy. <laughs> no, there's no boxes here. Oh, no, there's no nothing here. I think I'll flip Jace. I guess that's an Aramis. How many things does Aramis get us? Mm, two. Just decent. That ain't a lot though. 
It does go. Who's take is it Sigma here actually? I'm just gonna take Jace. You convince me on the Jace. Yeah, it's either Jace or is it Sigma? I think. Is it? Yes. Don't don't you do it? Don't don't you do it? Don't do it. Don't do it. Is it? Unbelievable. It actually might be Signet because we have both the Abyss and Metalworker. Yeah, and like, we don't actually have any spells to really abuse with I don't Jace. like the red. Like, I wish there was any other Signet. Uh, Jace dies to the Abyss only if we are if we don't flip him. I think it's... Jace is pretty easy to flip. Urza's training camp. This is my friend Mike. He's a regular on the stream. Basically work here. Is this just Lingering Souls? Uh, that's also a good card. I took the Jace. Not intentionally, but... Ooh, Academy. Ooh, How much baby. do we build around this bad boy? Now, I, now I'm just taking this and we're going ham. I bet this comes back. Yeah, that'll, that'll probably do. You know what? I bet if we didn't take this, this would come back too, so... But I'm not going to risk it. We're just going to take Academy here. Dang. Every time I see a blue planeswalker with no image and it's double blue, I always immediately oh. hope it's Jace. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Oh. And then it's not. And I'm like, oh. Oh, it's tinker. oh that's tinker. actually very good. Yeah, I was really like, I, I was really liking Tezzeret, but then I saw the Tinker. Yeah, I was actually just, I was like, ooh, Colonnade. Yeah, I don't, yeah, Tinker. It's tinker it is. And there we go. That's called the combo. We got a game, boys. I mean, the mold drifter would be nice. Workshops would work. I don't think they're even close to. Oh, we also have Forge Master. Like we yeah, just need to get. Tinkers. As long as we can fill these artifacts. Oh, that's a really late Sphinx. Okay. Sold me. Boop, 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 boop. Uh. Ooh, we can make this an Oath of Druids deck. Nah, not quite. Nah, it's too hard. Would, we'd have to like I think just go artifacts. for the three. Yeah, well, we'd have to not only artifacts, we'd have to cut a bunch of creatures, mean, right? Like yeah, yeah. this. You don't want to like oath into metal worker. It's a bad time. There's no artifacts here, so I think it's just I think it's just go for the throat. Yeah, it's solid. Like we're not gonna dark ritual into anything, I don't think. Like we could dark ritual into Sphinx on turn four. Yeah, that's pretty cute. <laughs> yeah. I don't think we even need we don't need another green source. Like we're no. we might not even play the 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 reclamation sage. Yeah, we're really just blue black at this point. And we can keep Savannah and Tropical Island because if we get a green fetch land, it gives us something to do with it. But we're basically just Esper right now. Yeah, I think all the other. I think if we have artifacts in the packs, we just have to take them, but. Yeah, this was a nice. deck looks pretty broken. I'm a fan. That's an artifact. This is, is a great fetch land for us. It's not that great of the Skullfang is really not that great for us. No, it's not. It doesn't do anything for I us. Just really. it. It's probably better. It gets us like a bunch of lands, right? It gets us tropical, godless shrine, and savanna. So it gets us any color. Yeah, Verdant is fantastic for us here. How many lands is this? Eight lands, so we only have thirteen picks right now. Woof. Probably scrub land. This is an artifact. Yeah, I don't know if we're really green though. I mean, we have Verdant, a Tropical. We have four fixing lands for green right now. Maybe. I think this guy's fine. We don't really need to scrub lands. We're not that heavy white. We have, like, literally one white card. And it's barely even a white. Like, we're yeah. not, we couldn't even hard cast this if we don't have to. Yeah, I guess we should take the Gear Hulk. Yeah, I think it's Gear Hulk. And if we take out the white, what, what colors did we end up in? Salt tie. That's right. That's right, Michael. Or salt tie plus white, salty tie. So it shows now. Uh, my stream alerts show when someone subscribes to me on YouTube. I don't know how to turn that off, but uh, good to know though. Yeah, it's good to know, and uh, that was a YouTube sub. So maybe make a bunch of fake accounts and sub to you. No, because I don't think that does anything for me. Like it doesn't affect my views at that point. Yeah, that's the only problem. Maybe. Agent Cody Ganks, happy holidays, buddy. Happy Festivus. I think it's just Roger. A, yeah, solid. It's an artifact. He gets metal worked. He gets tinkered. He does get tinkered. That is a that is a charm. Is it signet didn't come back? 
That'd be sweet. We have one card in the sideboard right now, and it might, might even just be played. Um, which is kind of funny. It's a little greedy. It is, but I mean, I think that's ac that's actually funny that all of our cards are playable right now. Water sports, Drew. Happy Happy Holidays, you Mitch. You old Mitch Arena. How you doing? You look really, you look really rigid. Just straighten up. You got a real Ethan, you got a real Ethan Klein going on right now. Hey, Tether Day. And it's exactly what we expected would happen. You hear that dog eating his nails? Oh yeah, it's very, it's very audible. Every day I do. This deck looks great so far. A Reaver? What's a Reaver? This next pack had Tezzeret the Seeker in it. I wonder if that Tezzeret's going to come back. It might. That'd be pretty sweet. Search out a Metalworker or a Metamorph or a Revoker. We do need some more artifacts, though. Like, if we, we just have to take every artifact next pack. We're going to do Red Green Christmas deck next time. We're doing it. It's literally the very next draft. We're going to be doing Red Green Christmas deck. More like solid, solid nade. No. Dang it. Just no. Well, this R fixing is just ridiculous in this deck right now. It's pretty good. It's some good fixing. It's some solid fixing. Solid nade fixing. We're going to play against the one guy that plays like. It's going to be mono red and we're never going to get our, our mana right. Oh. Ooh, tough choice. I don't think so. We don't have enough artifacts to make Mishra's Workshop good. Reeves318, thank you so much for the sub, man. Really appreciate it. You are awesome. I mean, workshop is bad. It's really bad. I could just make someone's miserable. Totally miserable. Yeah, cut it. <laughs> cut it. Oh, well, land tags? the other stone card, too. Oh, that's reasonable. I guess we have land tags. Nah, I'm gonna play with land tax. Oh my god. Oh, bargain I might actually play. Yeah, bargain's pretty good. We have a pretty sick start to a storm deck. Yeah, bargain. I'm like, well, this is a weird sideboard is, right now. Bargain is where you want to be in storm. Probably oh, why is deck. that? Because you can literally draw your entire deck? Yeah. No, good reason. See, the reason we didn't take land tax is because there's like, some cards I don't want to have basics of. Like, I just don't want to... Like, I probably just don't want to... Basic planes in this deck. I don't want a basic forest right now. Eh, maybe I do. I don't know. Can't tinker into this. No. This pack is not great. Yeah, I agree with you. Take Caracas, maybe? I'm yes. a Caracas, Mike. Can you Art Actually, Greaves? is it Greaves because of Blightsteel? I'm like... I think it's, it's actually Greaves. Back. I think it's Greaves, dude. I don't think it's anything else. This pack kind of sucks. But these packs have not been that good. I do like Only a duplicate. Duplicates. We could have Time Spiral. Man. We could have this, the, the Insane Storm deck, dude. There's also a High Tide we got passed. It was, which was in the same pack as the Cabal Therapy. Not the, uh, the Cabal Ritual. So we would be able to choose one of the other. One or the other, not one of the other. That doesn't make any sense. Yeah, we can take a duplicate here. Yeah, I like duplicate. That's an artifact. It's a good one. Probably like it's really good. Yeah, I think that's definitely the pick, and uh, I don't think it's actually close. No. All right, feeling feeling good. This is twenty one playables right now, so we we get two more playables unless we want to start cutting things, which we probably do. We could easily just put sage in the board. I do like flipping Jace and then uh, recasting Tinker with it. Gross. Gross. My name is Mitch Barbably Boom. Yeah. Don't you forget it. I'll never forget. Never forget. Never forget. I never forget. I stay remembering.
Celestia Signet. I think so. Thran Dynamo or Signet? Ooh, that's tough. Dynamo might be better? I don't know. It's close. What do you guys think? Dynamo it's or off Signet? Off-color Signet. Well, I guess it does fix for green. It fixes for green. Irrelevant, but... We don't have any white spells, which is worth noting. Uh, Shell Dock, the number of its number of, if if it's a player has twenty or fewer cards in it in a library. Yeah, it's pretty it's pretty good in this format. I also think I think it is Dynamo. Yeah, it's a more powerful card. Plus, I want like we want artifacts that we're not going to cast before we cast Metalworker. I don't think Fatal Push is super relevant in this format. Uh, I have no idea what my favorite commander deck would be. I think my favorite uh, legacy deck is... Um, it's called Sylvan Plug, I think, and it's got like... Chalice of the Void and Trinispheres and uh, Titania. And it's pretty sweet. And my favorite modern deck is probably... I don't know. Let me think about that. No, it's your turn. Oh, Gilded Lotus? It's really late, Gilded Lotus. Signa would also be great, but Lotus is better. Again, yeah, I just think Lotus is better because it lets us hard cast a lot of these cards. It'd also be sick if we tabled the Golem. We'd probably table the Golem. Eight. There's going to be two cards left in this pack. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No, it's three. My guess is Dromoka, Iona, and Angler. That's what I'm thinking. Here, Commander, uh, probably Jaleva. Favorite Legacy deck, I really like uh, Ani's Hell. Modern, I'm, I'm not really up into Modern, so. I, I ain't like, really up into Modern. A Delver, I guess. <laughs> I played it once, it's pretty fun. We're not red. We're not, but Dorani's good for the Artifact deck. Okay. Is this a 17 land deck? Yeah, I guess so. We don't have any fixing. Oh, we also want artifacts in play for this guy, so. Yeah. Was there a seal? What was a seal? Like seal of... Seal of Doom? What was the seal? What was the seal? Tell me about it. Interesting. Yeah, they're removable. Tangle Wire. Tangle Wire's pretty good. It's actually, I think it's definitely Tangle Wire here. Oh, but Leovold, though. Oh, Imperial Seal. I got you. Oh, man, this pack is great. And if we had the Storm Deck, we'd play, we can get that Frantic Search. It's Tangle Wire, right? Yeah, it's got a Tangle Wire, I think. This pack is great. Is it just Hangerback Walker so we can make like a million dudes? Yeah, I think so. We tinker our Hangerback Walker. And we have and we have Walking Ballista too. All right, this is pretty good. I can be. I'm down to clown. I think it's just Caracas here. Yeah. Oh, I want pizza, but everything is closed. I know the feeling. We were driving around looking for places to eat tonight. We found an Outback. We got a Bloomin' Onion. It was good times. Let's take a lush that. Or Deluge? Yeah, Deluge is pretty good. I like having a Deluge. This is actually pretty good with uh, the Abyss. You just sacrifice your snake every turn. And you can't just start that song. It's messed up that you do that. There thing. used to be a hidden tower alone on the sea. You became the light on the dark side of me. Go on. And God. love remains. On drugs and... 
My power, my pleasure, my pain. Baby! The meal. We got Misha's Factory and Mina Vault. That's pretty good. I feel like me and Mike eating a blooming onion, uh, I feel like that's a better vlog than a podcast because you really want to watch the consumption of the of the onion, I think. It's the consumption of the onion, <laughs> is. That's the name of my book that I wrote. The Consumption of the Onion. Um, so we have 27 playables. Yeah, so you got to make Quattro cuts those. I think we can put Sage in the sideboard. I agree. I also think we can put Bargain in the sideboard. Yeah, Bargain's pretty greedy. So now, like, one more cut? We can With probably, two sig get away with 16. I was thinking that, too. We got Relic, Metalworker, and two Signets. And yeah, a bunch of fixing. Um, get, some, get some ASR, I mean, ASMR crunch action. <laughs> Uh, we're eating uh, blooming onion right now, and uh, uh, as weird as this sounds, I actually think it's Jace. I can see it. Not that great for I us. can see it. He doesn't do anything. Like if he flips, like we're, we're gonna play Tinker twice. Like the game's probably already over. I like that the only creature that dies to uh, to the abyss is Consecrated Sphinx in here. Yeah, it's pretty good. And if you have an artifact creature, you can just ignore it, right? That's how it works. It's weird that we only have... This, this is the only white card we have. This is the only thing we need white mana for. So we just don't play any... We don't play any planes, yeah. But it's weird because we have... Well, Godless Shrine gets... Verdant Catacombs gets Godless Shrine. And Caracas is just... I think we can cut Caracas. Yeah. It's, it's a bit greedy. It's pretty greedy. Definitely no planes. Uh, definitely no... Well, one, two... I don't actually think we need forests. We have... Celestia Signet, we have Coalition Relic, we have Verdant Catacombs, Tropical Island, Savannah, Lumbering Fall. One, two, three, four. Actually, maybe one? Yeah, play one just so we can fetch it. I like fetch Verdant. Well, Verdant Catacombs is already yeah. going to get like a Tropical Island or a Savannah. Well, you never know. I mean, if you happen to draw both of those. Well, the thing is, if we drew both of those, we don't need to fetch it. True. Like, the only situation we need to fetch it is if we have both of these out of the deck. So I'm back on board with none. Uh, there's no reason to cut green when we have Virgil's Gear Hulk and like six sources of fixing. We only have four black cards, too. Well, we don't have many of any color because we have yeah, true. infinite art. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Is that. 3, 4, 5, a million. 6, a 7, million. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 15, 16 technically artifacts out of 23 cards. That means we have seven cards. So, yeah, we're not going to really have much of any color, per se. Three. We're blue early, so. Also, Colonnade and and Lumbering Falls are, and Shambling Van are both all win conditions. Do we cut one of those? Do we cut like Colonnade? Uh, what are the odds we can activate it? We need another white, right? I think we cut Shambling Vent. because it just comes into play tapped, and I don't think we need it to. And so does Catacombs. What? Or not Catacombs. Uh, so does Colonnade. Right, but Colonnade I think is a stronger, a stronger card. Okay. So four, five, six, seven, eight blue sources. Nine if you include Academy, right? No, I think I include Academy, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, maybe not. Nine? Okay. Black we have one, two, three, four. Probably one more than that. We'll go up to five and eight. Do we want a planes? No. Oh, so. no, we don't want a forest either. Maybe we do. Maybe we just have a bunch of extra lands. That's interesting. Yeah, I think so. Interesting. Baby cakes. Email, not email, but tweet at Lee Sharp, MTG's Lee Sharp, and ask him if they can, if you can get four play points because you have ninety six. A lot of times they'll just put them in your account because it's uh, they're kind of cool like that. Um, yeah, it seems good. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Yeah, I like it. This deck looks great. I'm down to clown. Till I'm dead in the ground. Two. I mean, a box would have been nice. 
Uh, I don't like Tendrils better than Gearhulk because Gearhulk is a target not only for Tinker, but um, it's just an artifact that we can use. And it doesn't die to the Abyss. We can... Uh... Also, still have total creatures. It's pretty good. Yeah, that's actually surprising. I will play first. Ooh. Gotta move this one. It's not good. It's close, but... This is not great either. I think I'd mull. Go to five? Yeah. This hand's pretty bad. Now this hand's... Could get there. I agree. Oh, are you just gonna lean on me? When, you know, if we draw land, land, we just tinker into Blightsteel? Yeah. That seems pretty good. Oof. Brutal. I don't know, we'll draw an island and we can mana drain something and then win the game. I mean, I'd rather keep up Hangerback Walker. Turn two Bird Paradise, okay. Got there! Oh my god, one land. I wish it was a walking ballista so we could shoot a stupid bird. Oh yeah, but then we don't have an artifact to tinker. <laughs> That's true. Like, in no in no situation am I not tinkering this guy. Ooh. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Is that the last troll? It is the last troll. Although he wasn't the last troll. There have been more trolls since then. Yeah. It's... It's a bullshit. I also don't think Sage is better than Gearhulk because Gearhulk is a threat and uh, it does a lot of it has a lot of synergies with the deck. Like we can sacrifice a Gearhulk to both of these cards to get a Blightsteel Colossus or something. So there's just no reason to not take out the Gearhulk. Like it doesn't make sense. The green deck may have an answer to Blightsteel. Yeah, like what? Like that. <laughs> that ain't an answer. Oh wait, yeah, it's indestructible. It's indestructible, My man. Bad. Cost a million My mana. Bad. You doing okay? Well, that is your bad, isn't it? My bad. Let's do it. hi -o. That was a tangle wire. Mm -hmm. Oh, we, ah, no, we could. I was like, oh, we could have pumped first. No, we couldn't pump first. Dude, don't be putting your wet nose on me. Don't be doing it. Are you calling me right now? Alternatively, we can get Sphinx, and against the mono green deck, it might be insane. That's a good point. Because, like, if they have Song of the Dryad or something, it's good. I guess you get that. I mean, Blight Steel, they can technically infinitely chump that guy. Oh, wait, it's Trample. Yeah, this, this is dude has Trample, dude. Maybe it's just that guy. I don't know how they answer that, actually, mono green, right? Like, indestructible. I guess we'll find out. Like, if they have Song, then this is bad, but... If they don't have song, this is... If we can draw a blue mana untap with mana drain up, I feel like we just win this game. Oh, yeah. Definitely. But... This is also on a mold of five. Uh-oh. That's a lot of mana. Oh, God. Eight, Ember nine, blue. ten. Ugin? Genesis wave? Tooth and nail. I think we're dead. <sighs> Alright, show me what you got. Show me what you got. Show me what you show got. Show me what you got. Progenitus and Ulamog. No, well, Ulamog doesn't get his trigger, at least. Yeah, but they're... Oh. Oh, he didn't actually put those into play. He just has Ulamog and, and Progenitus in hand. I gotcha. Interesting. Yeah, that seems good. Well, we're dead. Sigh. What could they have? Oh, they literally have Tooth and Nail in the green deck. Cool. They had to have Cradle, too. I think they might have topped their Cradle because they would have played it earlier. That's unfortunate. Yep. Just literally can't beat that. Eh. What are you going to do? Yeah, like Reclamation Sage just had zero targets there. Fatal Push could be decent here. They have a bunch of little duders. Everything else seems fine, though. Maybe take out Tanglewire for Fatal Push? I feel like Tanglewire is worse for us because they have a million creatures. Yeah. Or Toxic... Actually, Toxic Deluge is probably better. Yes, that's really good. Yeah, let's bring that in. 
It also answers a uh, old thrun. Oh, Caracas would have been great there. Oh, the sand keep the sand's keeper. Yeah, Caracas would. Well, what? Wait, what is Caracas going to even? You can't actually bounce Progenitus. He has protection from everything. Caracas is part of everything. You can bounce the blade still, but that's it. That's not legendary. Oh, really? Yeah. So none of those things get targeted by Caracas. Then it wouldn't be good at all. No. I, oh. I mean, I don't really want to target Ulamog because it's got a pretty reasonable trigger, so. Progenitus is legendary, but it doesn't, it has protection from everything. That includes land. Caracas is part of everything. It doesn't get targeted. <laughs> Let me draw a Toxic Deluge right now. I'm going to blow stuff. You can still mess them up pretty bad here. I guess we could. I think we just Ballista for four. Two. Yeah. Yeah. Nug two of their guys. That seems good. Caracas is in everything. That is correct. I get my shooty on. Which one's better? <laughs> Tis joke because they both do the same thing. How's he doing up there? He's uh, he's seeking attention. But, he's yeah. probably a little freaked out because of uh, fireworks. Yeah. Yep, you got it. So if we play, if we play yeah, meta, their... one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, we could copy their their basalt model. I don't know if that's good though. I think I'd rather copy like a big thing they play. Like we're only two mana away from this, but we can actually duplicate next turn, so we have answers for things. If they play blight steel somehow and we just duplicate it, that's pretty cool. There we go. Well, they're just going to Tooth and Nail just because they have the last two cards in their hand are like... Progenitus. Progenitus. Well, they can only have one. They only have two cards in hand, so... One of them would have to be Tooth and Nail, the other would have to be the creature. Oh, interesting. They said no. That's pretty good. Storm Count 1. It's interesting because um, they might just wait four, five, six, seven, eight uh, for the ninth mana <laughs> just so they can play with Kicker. I guess not. I guess now is the time. Okay. I guess they just top decked the second creature that they wanted. How convenient. Sure. We can duplicate this guy? That's pretty insane, actually. We can metamorph uh, and copy it and then duplicate it. That's dude. pretty. That's pretty bonkers, dude. I don't think we have mana for that, though. How do we not... not well, do we, we, do we, we now? now? Yeah. Now one, two, three. Actually, we did. We have Metamorph for three. One, two, three, four, five, six. We have okay. plenty. So, let's go triple blue. Oh, come on. There you go. This is going to make with three, it makes a four. Uh, yeah, we're just going to play duplicate. Yo, can I eat you? I will. We have double. Oh, I guess it's always single annihilator. They have no cards in hand because they just tooth and nailed them out. <laughs> Got them. Nice. <laughs> These have been some quick games. Now who's one? Now who's well, now who one upped? I am the one up who the one who one ups. Also, the abyss seems great in this matchup. Like if we're able to to hit either Deluge or Abyss, I think we're just fine. Yeah. However, we have not hit either of them yet. So, ooh, this hand is good, boy. Is it? Oh, it's. <laughs> ooh! It's it has literally everything we need. I hope we draw a Sign or something so we can tinker that instead of the Greaves. Yeah, I would like to use the Greaves. Oh my god, dude. Yeah. It's a Festivus for the rest. It's a Festivus miracle! Oh my god. I just want to deluge right now. Oh my god, look at look at this. Look, oh, oh! Yeah, let's get rid of that 
Those. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten mana next turn. Yeah, that's not good. Yeah, we have to shoot that that Let's dummy. Get that get that thing out of here. We gotta go. See you later, bye. We could have waited a turn to Toxic Deluge, whatever they play. We could have just spent 11 and killed, like, Progenitus and Ulamog. Actually, maybe we should have done that and just let them tooth and nailed. Mm. I don't think they have it, actually. I think this game's probably over. Let's just play Greaves and call in here. Do you have any one-man artifacts? No, surprisingly. Die Hard is 100% in a Christmas movie. Oh, yeah, definitely. If a movie has a Christmas... Oh, look at this, dude. Mangalorn tech. That's okay. We have Dynamo. Not a big deal. Completely fine. They also have two cards in hand, and I guarantee our hand is better. Pop, 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 pop. We also could have waited until next turn to play this just to be able to tinker. Like on the same turn? What? Like on the same turn? Yeah. What comes to play tap though, right? No. Does it? No. Oh. Why did? Why is it tapped? I don't know. Oh, because Mangalorn. Oh, yeah, you're right. Okay. So that wouldn't have worked anyway. You got one card. I was like, why is this tapped? That's weird. We could also deluge for two and then... Oh my god, what are they doing? What's going on? I'm going to save the deluge. Well, if they play something now, I'm just going to wipe their board because they'll have no cards in hand. You can deluge and take her in the same turn, even. Mm-hmm. That's why I'm saying it. One, two, three, four, five. I think this game's over. Wow. Not anymore, I guess. So we put it into our deck and shuffle it? Uh, no, they search their library for a creature. Which is actually fine. Who cares about that thing? We can still actually do it right now, right? No, we can't. No, because it's going to play tap. Well, no, I was thinking kill their guy, play Thran Dynamo, and then activate, but that, that's not how mana works, so. No. Hmm, try again. So we know their card is Avenger, and they get one draw, so... We can actually deluge for like five and then play Tinker afterwards. Which, which seems pretty insane. I hope they actually drew a land. Dang it. One, two, three. So we're going to take, we're going to go to nine, but then we're going to Tinker, so. Okay. Seems over, boy. Probably tap the Dynamo. Oh, yeah, I guess that's fine. Uh, one... Wait, no, yeah, use the mana. Come on. Put him in the trash can. Give me that bee steel. Where are you at, brah? The problem with the green... Oh, we should have kept the black up. We only have one black, so I guess we shouldn't have done that because... Then we couldn't have cast uh, Deluge. Oh god, what is this? Oh, I don't care about that. <laughs> oh my god. So just Should put... I kill him? No, because they block full... Wait, yes. Yes, it does. I forgot. I was like, Infect. Oh my god. Remember that time you guys were like, you should put a Reclamation Sage in instead. Not to say that would be a bad choice. But boy, this is just won us the game. Eleven poison, my man. Sweet. That stack is busted. Was a spicy meatball. That was good times, man. You yeah, was so quick. That was how was how fast was that? Literally 20 minutes for the entire match for all three games. The draft, we've been live for 47 minutes. The draft took four minutes longer than that match did. Nice.
Just probably keep it. I think it's fine. If we go uh, Signet Land, we're good to go. But otherwise, we're just... Oh my, yeah, Sand's actually great. I get real excited about Consecrated Sphinx, though, so... If you know what I mean. No. You know. No. You know. Yeah, those emoji slots, man. You gotta fill them up. I got four emoji slots. I know. I don't know what to do. I, I asked the chat today, or I asked the, the Discord channel, and no one Go actually... Turtle. That's a good idea. It's uh, not bad. Did I drink that water in Flint, Michigan? That was rough. I remember that. That was back in the back in the old days, the olden times. Back. Could pick our hand. How rude! That was pretty rude. Like, why are you like this? I'm back in the battle again. What's what is that Aerosmith? You're an Aerosmith. Look at that land. Keep them coming. Look at these beautiful lands. Our opponent oh, hasn't done anything either, so. You is obviously one of the slots. One hundred percent cap. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, we could do that. Oh, we just dynamo into that. Yeah, that's pretty good. Or do we just dynamo into... Dynamo? Yeah. Chris, Chris Furter with the $25 bones. Ooh. That's not how you say that. But dude, thank you so much, man. Happy holidays to one of my besties. Okay, Fur, do I metamorph the... The Thran Dynamo or the Metal Worker? Well, Metal Worker would add four, right? Yes, but for now. Yeah, I think you just copied the Thran Dynamo. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That'd be ten mana next turn. Or we just keep it. You could just keep it. I think it's fine. I think we wait. Having Metamorph and Lodestone and uh, Duplicate in hand is pretty strong. Did you answer me? Did I just miss that in the in the channel? Chris Furter, thank you so much, buddy. You are awesome, and I love you. And that's why we're gonna get married one day. I see. Oh, that's bad news. No, it ain't. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's actually fine. Go ahead, enjoy it. Knock yourself out. I hope you take Blightsteel so I get an 11-11. So I can Metamorph and then get an 11-11. But Ooh, that's too much mana. I don't have that much mana. Uh, yeah, we're a little off. We're too, we're too shy. An early ad. Merry Christmas, buddy. Shy. Happy holidays. I don't know. Okay, Ferd, I'll get that ring for you one day, buddy. You just wait. Did they see the duplicate? Was that in our hand when we... Yes. Was it? Mm-hmm. Was it? Yeah, it was in our brother. Was it? Yes. What are you doing? You scratching your foot? Yes. You, yes, I'm scratching my foot. What did they... God, take your time. Yeah. What? Really? That's what you picked? Interesting. You're going to shut this well, down? Well, knows about the duplicate in the Metamorph, I think, so. Doesn't that not work? Or? No, th this guy is artifact. Activated abilities can't be can't be activated. This guy doesn't care if they're... Uh, Man, really don't care. Yeah, he doesn't, he doesn't give a... Give a hoot, or, could give a hoot and a holler. Could that guy. What? Oh, wait, we don't have enough mana. Now I think we just copy... Oh, actually, Gear Hulk is also an artifact. I forgot about that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, now we're just copying Metal Worker. And they revealed Hangerback Walker? Sure. Burr -burr 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 -burr. Oh, I guess we're I guess we just tinker for Thran Dynamo. When uh when the time comes. You cast in bribery? No, I'm not, they are. You said Kool-Aid milk. That wasn't a real suggestion. That's a disgusting suggestion. 
Oh no, my my metamorph is already down. How much mana did we add? Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven mana. That's a lot. a lot. You can make a really big consecrated things. Well, not without a second blue, we can't. True that. I'm real tempted to block here. I think we just take two. That is not a second blue. I'm sad. However, we can't add two more mana, I guess. Which leaves us with how much? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 mana. This costs one, essentially. What do we even eat? I don't want to duplicate anything, right? Can we just go Gear Hulk, Golem, Signet? Yes, we should. Kool Aid Milk isn't offended. Kool Aid Milk is disgusting. So what do we do? We want to go one, two, maybe like two, one, one. The guy does have trample. Maybe we don't care about the stupid. Maybe we don't care about this guy. No, nah, definitely not. Yeah, two, two seems fine. Seven five six six seems good. They have more cards than us, but God, good lord, can we just get a a one a second blue? Like we have so much blue in this deck. Can we just get Academy. Add five mana. The best part about Metalworker and Academy and Thren Dynamo is that they're like mana based. I'm confused. I'm blocking this. With which one? Uh Little some golem, I think. I'd rather this guy, because if they're gonna kill one of them, I'd rather them kill this guy. I think Lodestone Golem is just better against their deck because they don't have as many They have Hangerback Walker in hand too. Mm-hmm. Oh, we can duplicate that. That's pretty good. I guess it just dies though, right? What do you have prophetic bolt or something? <laughs> I don't think it's in the set, but it might be. Well, we got our Thran Dynamo back. That's pretty cool. Yeah, it's pretty sweet. Oh, and this guy's in our graveyard now. That's pretty cool. What are you revealing? Hangerback Walker again? Okay. Is that your only artifact? <laughs> What's even going on right now? This is my Metal Worker deck, and I got one artifact. Oh. All right. That's pretty annoying, but... Not really. Like, look at all this artifact mana we have. Like, we keep the island, and then if we draw any island, we can still just cast Consecrated Sphinx. And we get to keep a 7-5. Yeah, this is actually just fine. Uh, choose three cards you control. Okay. And we get a 7-5. Like, God, if we just didn't block, can you imagine? That's actually pretty good. One, two. Oh, we only have five mana. Come on, let's do this right. There we go. Yeah, we have a 7-5 artifact guy that makes all of your stuff cost one more and you have two lands. That seems good, right? Barbar23! Happy Merry Christmas to you, too. Are they just going to never play Hangerback Walker? Apparently not. Nope. Maybe this is it. Okay. We did it. That's pretty solid. 
Nearly at with the sub. Thank you so much, man. Two months in a row. Really appreciate it. You are a gentleman and a scholar. Let's we'll activate this now. Got that shroud though. There are four right now. I guess they want to make two two hanger back guys. Sure. You got it. What do I think about Enchantress in Modern? Not much. I don't really I don't even know what that is. Oh, a mox. So you just got your mox. That's cute. That is pretty cute. That is adorable. Wasn't that special? I'm not close to that right now. Look at this. Look at our sphinx hand. Well, you got a chump block here, so... I don't think I think we're in a good I think we're in a good position here. I also just think we're this might take a while. Yeah, they got a lot of chunk blockers. I do like lighting groups here though, because if we ever stick one of these one of these guys, we just slam in there. By enchantress, do you mean like do you mean boggles, or do you mean like the white enchantment decks? Because there's no real deck like enchantress usually means like Verduran enchantress or Argothian enchantress. Like an enchantment deck that, that is focused on the actual card enchantress. And there's no real modern deck that has that in it. Oh, Enduring Ideal. Well, that's just called Enduring Ideal. Are you just going face? Whoa, aggressive. Very aggressive. As my good friend Teddy KGB would say. Oh, that's very good. Blightsteel? It's not bad. Rakdos Signet. Okay. <laughs> That's like the worst hit ever. Pretty bad. Oh, brutal. And we just double attack here. If you, you can't actually triple block this guy. Two, three. You can't you can't double block either guy. You actually have to block them both. And you can't kill either one, so. Good old clutch shell dog and hitting three lands and a signet. But, on the bright side, we're not going to draw any of those, so. Was one of them Black Source? I don't know. If so, that's kind of bad. Well, I guess Rakdos Signet is a Black Source, so never mind. Yeah, you dummy. Also, we're not going to get to a point where we ever cast this, I'll be honest with you. Maybe. No, we just won the game. Oh, that would have been a great draw. All right, so our opponent has Burning of Zinyi, which you should probably see your doctor about. Yeah, it's pretty bad out here. <laughs> it's not. It's not good. I didn't really see anything else that matter. No, that's pretty much all we saw that matter. Bribery. Those are the two spells that are broken and that we really want answers to, but. We don't really have a way around bribery. Yeah, like this is not legendary. This is not legendary. This is not legendary. None of our cards are legendary, so like we couldn't even Caracas and bounce our own guy back. If you know what I mean. You should, because I was just speaking regular English. It wasn't like uh No, I don't understand regular English. Okay. That's unfortunate. I'm sorry about that. Are you? No, I don't care. That's what I thought. <sighs> oh, something magical? Oh, just the YouTube sub. If you guys uh, enjoy my content and you miss any of the drafts or uh, streams, you can head over to YouTube and you just youtube.com slash Frank Lepore and subscribe to me there, which is awesome. What up, turn one blood moon? Have you and Mike watched the Jeff Kaplan Yule Log yet? I don't think I know what that is. Do I know if Jeff Kaplan is funny? Oh, that's not that's not a he's the he's the Overwatch guy. Never mind. My mistake. 
No, I have not watched that. Yeah, right. But it's, it literally popped up, like, on the screen right now, three little separate images from Kotaku, PC Gamer, and PC Invasion all popped up. So I will definitely check that out in a second. Hold on. Uh, we're definitely mulling this hand. Uh, we're definitely keeping this hand. Um, nah. Close. It's, it is close, I think. But it's just too late. Like, I want earlier things that can affect my life more profoundly. I think we just hang her back on turn... On turn two, because then we go turn three relic and make a make it. Then we can pump up Pumperino. If your acoustic sun isn't in bed soon, Santa will not won't come. <laughs> oh, they got two moxes, so it's okay. Oh. It's cool. In their own academy, oh, nice. Seems good. This is where they play mox per, mox mox pearl. Well, here's hoping we draw one land. I mean, I know we can't have Tolarian Academy mocks yet. Oh, we should bring in the Reclamation Sage. Yes. What do you think of Enduring Ideal in Modern? So, Enduring Ideal, in my experience, it's not a super competitive deck, but it's definitely a fun deck, and you can definitely... Modern is a format where you can definitely win games simply by having a deck that people are not ready for. Um, most of the main decks are so geared towards one another that it's kind of inbred. So if you take a deck like Enduring Ideal... No one's going to have answers for, like, oppressive enchantments turn after turn. Um, and I think our Enduring Ideal is one of the funner decks like that that you can play. So I support it. I give it two thumbs up. Mike also gives it two thumbs up simply by proxy. No, I didn't. Oh, that was a good draw. Yeah, you did. I saw you. Me hate Enduring Ideal. Killed my family. I thought you like your breadsticks, though. I do. Okay. Me also like your breadsticks. Are you laughing at that Lois Griffin meme? Do we just, uh... Wow. Well, sure, dude. We just Relic and then play, uh... Cure Hulk, right? Oh! I like that a lot. That's pretty good. If we're not dead. Here time. comes Big Bribs. Oh, come on, Gross. dude. That's not gonna do anything. <laughs> Sure, they get to play Academy, Mox, Mox, sure. And Signet. Once they're done with Oh, they, did they play land this turn? They might have. No. No, they didn't. Jeez, that's actually disgusting. So two, three, four, five, six. They get six mana. That's pretty good. It's not bad. I thought this put a delayed trigger on the stack where it's like, at, you know, at the beginning of your next main phase... You played Mountain there? Oh. It's still weird. I guess they don't have anything to do with their mana? That is still weird, I agree with you. I didn't want to draw all Blight Stick losses. You're right. Oh, he's going he to the trash can. Yeah, because he goes back in, right? I think it's just Forge Master here. Actually... I don't think it is. I think they have a bunch of things to do with that. Forge Master is really slow. Yeah, I guess it is. But I like I like the idea of like having Hangerback Walker to make a bunch of dudes and then easily use this. But that's a lot of setup. And next turn, if we can Walking Bliss to this guy, it's pretty good. He's like 9 million mana. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Yeah, that's pretty good. I mean, they have no artifacts in the graveyard. Like, also they're attacking with that guy. Always a good sign. <laughs> yeah. Well, they have nothing in the graveyard, like I said. So, like, they can't get anything back. When did Watsy say that? I haven't actually seen that, but I haven't been keeping up with like competitive Magic recently. So. Oh, interesting. I'm actually just gonna shoot the Tinker, the the guy. There you go. <laughs> Take it easy. Take it sleazy. Look at this new daily MTG page. I don't know how I feel about this. It's still... It's so funny because every time they do a re redesign of the main page, it looks cluttered. Like, I feel like I'm always trying to navigate, like, where things are and, like, what they're doing. 
it just doesn't it doesn't it doesn't like the flow is always I don't know hmm maybe just a relic here yeah okay they have three cards in hand. Oh, they played this. That's that's a good reason. Oh, that wasn't yeah, that wasn't um that wasn't an announcement that they're gonna make changes. They said they're gonna revisit it after the Pro Tour. Like there's no guarantee that they're gonna change anything. Because that's because there's a Pro Tour. So like that's a great way to Sure. We can draw land here. That'd be um, actually one, two, three, four. Yeah, that'd be great if we can draw an untapped land. That's not it, but I appreciate your your, your effort here. So we can actually go mock. Uh, we could go hanger back for two. I don't love it. One, two, three, four. We could just play virtuous gear hulk for eight. Yeah. As an 8 8, rather. I kind of like Hangerbox Walker and then playing Gear Hulk the next turn. I mean, if we if we're, I'd rather just play Consecrated Sphinx next turn, though. Could also do that. You could do that. I could. Greg. My name is Greg. Do we just play Hangerback for one, two, three, four, five, six? Do we just play for four, for two? Or do we play like Signet, Signet? I think we do actually play Signet here. At least one. Just play both. Well, we can play this for four still if we play one. Oh, sure. Which seems relevant. Rele relevant. Well, I don't think we can say likely Blood Braid Elf. I don't think we have any uh, any evidence of that. But why are you not? Yeah, that's all gone. I'm like, why is this popped up the whole time? I don't understand what's happening. Oh, consecrated Sphinx when they when they unchain ancestral vision. That's pretty good. Like I said, unchain. Like that's a. Uh... This is actually not as scary as it could be, I think. Yeah, it actually doesn't do anything. It does something in the future, though. Tell me what it does in the future. Actually, it puts us to three, and then they kill us. So that's actually pretty scary. Yeah. Anyway, we're dead. Yeah, we're dead. Yeah, all right, we died. That was a pretty awkward game. Well, yeah, they have uh, upheaval and burning of Zinyi, so... Not great. Oh, we're definitely bringing in uh, Rex Sage. Take out Tangle Wire. I, I keep thinking Tangle Wire, is, Tang Tangle Wire is not great. I wonder if Fatal Push is good here. It answers uh, Metal Worker. And and the uh, the Welder. Yeah. yeah. That's probably worth it. What was that? My butt. Gross. What do we cut for it, though? Golem? I mean, Golem won us the game. It's pretty hard to deal with. And they have a lot of expensive spells. Yeah, Gopher the Throat's probably pretty bad. Oh, yeah. Good call. I always forget that's artifact only. It's so... It's or not artifact. Oh, uh, this is annoying. Yeah, it is actually, which is sad because I think the... Oh, this is great. Yeah, this is pretty good. Well, it is, but this is also tapping for nothing until we hit another land, which is a little scary. I mean, if only we could have uh, drawn double double mocks. That would have been... Well, that'll do. Double mocks is pretty good. 
Yeah, it's not reasonable. I'm going to suspend my ancestral vision. I had a vision once. It was an ancestral vision. Tell me more. No. Dang. Got him. Oh, that's cute. I'm going to just play Burton Catacomb. They don't need to see this yet. You had to play the Metal Order? I guess it's Savannah. Uh, yeah, I guess so. I mean, I like to have a white source. What is the only, our only white card is the Sphinx, right? Yeah, it's probably better to get blue here, right? Yeah, just in case they have a way to get rid of our... Academy. Got him. I wish we could copy this somehow. I don't think that's a thing. Okay, man, kill him. Merry Christmas Eve, buddy. Oh, that's cute. Consecrated Sphinx. Off the top, please. All right, that's that's not exciting. <laughs> All right. All this man had nothing to do with it. You're right. Here comes Burning of Zinni. Here they go, Electrolyze, follow up Burning of Zinni. You ready? Vomit. I would vomit. Prepare the vomit. Oh. Sure. We didn't do anything with that turn. I don't even care about that guy. No, it doesn't matter at all. Oh my god, how is this a real pack? Snap soaring. This is Run Home's pack one, pick one. Soaring, Mox Emerald, Mox Ruby. I think it is soaring, actually. It's always soaring. <laughs> soaring so broken. That's my secret. It's always soaring. Four men on turn two is not real. Oh, I like that with a metamorph. Like, does he have a car? The metamorph? Does the metamorph have a car? That's pretty solid. So what do we have? One. We play this guy. Yeah, we can do all the things, I think. We'll go blue. So we're going to have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven mana. If we play this first, we have eight mana to work with. Actually, if we play this first, we still have eight mana to work with. I'm going to copy the Mold Drifter. Seems good. <sighs> I hate it so much, man. Oh, that's... That's pretty epic. Oh, that, that's exciting. Yeah, we don't really need to play Golem here. Nope, don't care at all. Nope, not attacking either. I'm actually just going to make this guy bigger right now. Oh, I like it. Should have to make that guy big. Why? Because uh, you could uh, save the relic activation. I still can. This is a Tolarian Academy. It makes two mana. Now. Uh, well, never mind. Oh, you're right. I could have done that. Thomas, with the four months up, thank you so much, man. Merry Christmas to you. You are awesome, buddy. Haven't seen you in a while. Maybe we'll tap out for something dumb and big. God. I, and then we can draw Blightsteel. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Vietnam. What a crazy, what a random, what a random thing to have to be place. That was a sentence. Yeah, that's a Toyota. Okay. <laughs> Do you know what that's from? Yeah. Do you? It's from that show. What show? It's called, uh, Mitchmas. Have you, have you heard me say that and then you said it? Yeah. <laughs> no, I know it's from, uh, what's the name of that show? 
Well, it's not from a show, so you're you're already wrong. From a show, okay. Keep guessing. Well, it's not a show, so not, my guess is over. Oh. Yeah, let's not have that happen. They have Tinker too. Yeah, they have they're two Moxes and Tinker. They basically just have a better version of our deck. Yeah, but they're still not doing. They're we're still winning this game right now. So are we? I mean, why? What, what what metric are we behind right now? I don't know behind, but I wouldn't say we're ahead. Well, we got rid of their Tinker and their Ancestor and their Cryptic, and they still haven't gotten any ground. Oh, second main, play something else. I got gotcha. you. The old first main, skip through combat, second main, gotcha. I'm gonna go get my other box. Well, this time I'll get my solar ring. Oh, Mox get in. It's, uh, yeah, yeah, obviously. That's the other Mox they have, so it all makes sense now. Okay, so they have three cards in hand and a bunch of artifact dumb dumbness. Dang it. Look at all this free mana I got here. Yes, we'll play a gold. For free. For freezies. For fruzzles. You can tackle the melee. That's what I was going to do. Tempted to not attack here because then they just double block. That's fine. No, because I want to keep this alive because they have Burning of Zinni. I mean, if they go upheaval, it's just terrible for us, right? It's pretty bad. Like, I they mean, can... There's nothing we can do about it. You're right. But they could Mulder for and Trigger Mage back. Oh, God, that's so stupid. Whatever. <laughs> Play his royal nerdness here. Actually, I do want to get their guys off the board, so. Did they forget to... Oh, my God! Oh, my God, our mics... They're using the webcam mics. What? It's it's using the webcam mic and not the regular mics. Oh, my God. Oops. Yeah, that's so bad. Oh, my God, I'm sorry, guys. For, for some reason, the regular mics are not on right now. And I don't think I can actually fix that. Until this is over. Here we go. They're just going to float all their mana and play Upheaval. Yep. <sighs> bah, man. I don't know why they're not attacking with Moldrifter first, but okay. Oh, that's so sad. Yep, obviously. To the surprise of no one. Didn't even attack first. Okay. Yep. I hate it when you get a really good deck, but you just actually can't beat, like, two broken cards. Like, that is frustrating. It's not good. I really also hate that it's been using the webcam volume, the webcam mic for this entire thing, because it's not a great mic. It's actually significantly worse than uh, the significantly more expensive mics that we have here, so. That is frustrating. Oh, you got a hangerback walker. How nice. Sick board after upheaval, bro. Seems reasonable. Yeah, I, the problem is I'm recording it for YouTube right now, so if I restart the stream, it actually is not ideal. Cool. Go ahead. I don't know how we win this game. They're just gonna go one, two, three, four, five. They're just gonna go hang her back for six next turn. Yeah, we're just not gonna play this out. Much over. Congrats on drawing upheaval. You did well. Card's not real. I don't know why this isn't on. Give me one second, I'll just check it. This is so loud, everything is so loud. Yep, there we go, now it's on. Unfortunately, the mic isn't going to change, so. Yeah, that's super annoying. I wonder if I switch it. Oh, is it better now? No, probably not. It's probably still using the...
Yeah, the, the, the problem is that the recording, it's already on. This is this is the default mic, and it's already registered as using this, so. Yeah. I don't think it's, yeah, that's not registering. All right, well, whatever, we'll just play the last round with sad, sad audio. Apologies, guys. Sad audio. I will join my match. Man, I like that I uh, I like that we went from 93 subs to 90 subs. Like we lost three subs since starting this stream. Feels bad, man. Twitch is cool. <laughs> Keep this hand's good. I'm a fan. Well, it's not a matter of MTG. MTGO has no audio devices. Like, it literally needs no audio devices. It's a matter of Twitch and that's it. Or not Twitch, OBS, rather. I guarantee you, you could tell the difference between the two mics if it was not recording from this. If I switched right now, you'd totally be able to tell the difference. Oh, do I just keep that up and then go ham next turn? I don't think so. I think it's okay. You think it's okay? Actually, what if we go Greaves here? And then next time we can go hang a back walker and put a, put a counter on immediately. It's okay. You don't like that? I mean, if they have some, like, what can they have on turn two, though? Not much, right? Nothing scary. Yeah. No, watch, I'll tap the mic right now. I don't know, let me see if that worked. I have to check the levels. Oh, yeah. Thousand. Oh, look at another Mox Sapphire. How many Mox Sapphires can we play in one league? Oh, good Nanorecto Signet. Fantastic against the Artifact deck. We're having a good time, ladies and gentlemen. Mm, that's pretty disgusting. Yep, that's pretty good. You just literally got a double removal spell with a, off of a Mox Sapphire. Yes, yes. Um, that means we can cast uh, Sphinx next turn. Which cannot get grudged. You're right. That's so insanely busted. So we just need to get a white land, so probably the Savannah. White, black, blue, this guy. Oh, what up, green, red deck? Cover the webcam mic with tape, but then we don't have a mic. That's cool. So what if we just do this jobby? Make this guy for one. Play Greaves. Put it on you. Oh, wow, they didn't kill it. That's interesting. Make a thing. Greaves on you, just in case you have a black or white removal spell. And then even if you kill this guy, we get two flyers. Well, cover something with tape. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, you got it. Give me my, give my birds. I'm not sure what the black, white, red deck can do about this yeah, guy. Yeah, you're right. I just want to... Speak English. Um, what if we Tezzeret and make that a 5-5? Five five? Seems alright. Can we equip itself? I'm a... I'm a... I'm a 5-5, I'm a five five, Greg. Can you equip me? I guess they can attack it with Stirring Wildwood, but I guess we can crack back for eight and put them to one. That's pretty good, right? Wow. That seems... They have one card left in hand? 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. I guess they just go Willamog and exile these two. And then we don't, then we try and we hope we don't die. Oh. Oh, this is interesting. So we put you to one, and then you're just at the mercy of Manicur for the rest of the game. This is intriguing. All right, let's see how lucky you can get. No gamble, no future, I guess. Oh, they won the flip. This one continues. Hmm. They can see it. But it does not. We could have also played Revoker and given them, taken away a blocker if that was, if that was something they needed. I'm going to bring Reclamation Sage in again. Every game. Every game. I'm going to take out Tangle Wire again. That's about it. I don't really see much else. God, I wish we had a, a relevant card for things like Damnation. Yeah, I think that's fine. General Grievous. That's pretty good. Oh, this hand is rough. We will ship it. This hand is better. Unless they have grudge. Oh, oh, keep. Almost a snap keep, I would say. Oh my god. Oh god, what is it going to be? What are you playing on turn? Oh. Okay. The old untap into five mana. A classic. I'll play Seems one. Good. I'll play one Celestial Colonnade. Actually, for our going to draw this, and I was like, let's see what we're going to draw. I keep moving closer to this mic, even though this mic is not even on right now. Right, right. This mic is on. hey -o. God, this audio is so bad. I'm so sorry. Here we go. Six, five mana. Acidic Slime, our Celestial Colonnade. Jeez. Okay. All right. Then. Sure. Oh. Mm, we might have a shot at this game after all. Oh, that's intriguing to me. I am intrigued. They did lose a flip. They didn't lose so that. We got flip. that going for us. We are recording an album here. <laughs> hey, man, I'm trying to. I take my quality seriously. Don't begrudge a content creator for trying to create quality content. Oh. I see. But you can't activate it this turn. Got him. It's one turn too late, buddy. I know your games. Let's tinker, boy. I was a tinker boy once. God, if only we had Greaves, dude. I think it's Beast Deal. I do too. I thought you misclicked. That was gonna be awful. I. What did you think? I was gonna, What did you think I hit? I thought you hit the one right below it. I don't remember what card it was, but. Um. I think when I'm. Oh God! I did it again. I keep. I keep leaning in close. I'm like. I think. Let me talk into this mic real close. Uh. I think creating quality content does mean you can hear my tongue in my mouth because that's how quality ASMR content works, buddy. These MS. These, these ASMR magic videos aren't gonna make themselves, pal. Oh, that would have been sad if they could kill our... What if they play it and try to kill our thing and it's not a legal target? I guess it's a legal target, but it's got indestructible, so... This is actually kind of a hilarious draw because it's so, like, in, it's so, like, heh hey, get so wrecked. Close. They're totally going to play it, and they're going to try to target this, I bet. Yeah, that's not going to work. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God, I hope they thought that was going to work because that's pretty funny. Interestingly enough, though, like, even if that wasn't going to work, like, that's still their best play. They don't want to play Relic because it gives me mana. You do want to play this because it takes away my, a utility ability for me. But they also have three cards to deal with the Blightsteel Colossus, so... And they're at 12. Mana Crypt is a real... It's a real clock. Like, yeah. every time I play Mana Crypt, I'm always like, well, we couldn't beat you before our Mana Crypt, 
Mana Crypt beat us. You have two cards? How do you not just die to this guy now? Oh, the Abyss is so good against you, right? Isn't the Abyss just insane? Like, if they play a guy, they have yeah, to sacrifice dead. it? Yeah, they're probably just dead. I mean, I guess they did. No, they're going well, to block with this guy. Sure. That's just fine. Also, if you guys, you guys can definitely, you guys are going to hear the video. The video is zooming and unzooming? What does that even mean? Was it this? Was it me going like this? God, please don't tell me it's actually doing that, because that's really scary. Did we lose the game? Like, did we lose last game, or is it game two? Uh, uh, okay, I don't think we did. I think this is game two. Yeah, this is definitely game two. Oh, they will get blockers, though, because they play a guy. It goes back to our turn. We lose Rex Sage. It goes back to their turn. But it's got to be a pretty big blocker. Sure. I wonder if they think this is going to... Like, we're going to have to sacrifice this guy. Because there's no reason to kill this. You just deal two to our face. But it's not Artifact, so the Abyss don't care about Artifacts. You ain't got a lie, Craig. Go as soon as you have. <laughs> Awesome. Good times. Boop. Sometimes you just blight steal people. Yeah. All right, sweet. All right. Thank you guys for watching on YouTube. Feel free to like and subscribe. I'll see you next time. We'll see you next time, too.